everybody, it's Christina from Redefine Creative and I am back playing with my How to Kill a Kit with Style for the month of August. And so this month I am with the collaboration between Alta New and Pink Fresh Studio called Celebrate, which was celebrating the anniversary of the, their two companies. And this is also for my Double Dare You Challenge, which is a couple of days late, for Miss Laura Alberts. And so Laura and I challenge each other once a month. Um, with a dare and we dare you guys to take on that challenge as well and so for this month my challenge to Laura and all of you is to use some wonky angles with the pattern paper on your layout and so what I have done is I did some stamping with the pink fresh all to new celebrate stamp and I used three colors of Catherine Pooler ink so I have twilight pink champagne and midnight which is like the black color and I've stamped those all around this like outside edge on the top and the left. And then I have taken this ombre pattern paper from the collection and backed it with just a tiny border of black and then put those two pattern papers at a little bit of a set angle. And so that's my challenge to you when you're creating a layout this month is to play around with this idea of some wonky angles. And so then I'm gonna go ahead and take this four by six black and white photo of my daughter and I totally apologize, you guys, if you can hear my crazy family playing in the pool in the background. Uh, we are trying to keep cool. It is pretty hot here in Arizona right now. And so we are trying to keep cool around here and get in some exercise since we are doing the whole school at home business now. So I'm taking this pattern paper with these flowers and I wanted to add a little bit of that black detail. So all I'm gonna do is take my black pen and you'll be able to see this a lot better in the close-up images, but I'm just doing some outlining, not all of the flowers, just around a few. And I really like how that's gonna highlight everything that's going on. So then I'm gonna go ahead and build some more layers. So I got this rainbow watercolor stripe washi tape from Altenu when I ordered this collection because I felt like it was a good match for the colors that were going on in this particular collection. And I love how it adds a little bit of a pop of kind of brighter color on this background. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab these 49th and Market rub-on stitches and add them to my kind of clusters that I have going on. And these rub-ons work really well, except they don't like to rub on on washi. So I move over just a little bit to give them a, a little piece of the uh, pattern paper to adhere to. And then they go on like butter, but they did have a hard time going on over the top washi, but eventually they did work. So then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little piece of this pattern paper down into my bottom cluster. So I'm gonna have these two kind of major areas going on. And I wanna mimic that black stitching that I've, or the black pen detailing that I've already done in that bottom cluster as well. So something you guys all the time is to make sure, at least I make sure, when you are building embellishment clusters that you repeat elements into all of the clusters. So then I went ahead and added some of this stamping. So that's another repeated element in my cluster. And I'm gonna go through the ephemera pack that came with this collection and pull out some of the florals, just because I wanna build a floral cluster over on that left side of my picture. And so I'm gonna tuck a bunch of those florals into the layers and I'm gonna go um, back after I've kind of built those layers with my black pen and add some more of that pen detailing. So I really love, because I'm using a black and white picture and I have these black accents with all of this color on the page, I am loving that pen detailing and what it adds. So do not be afraid to add some extra detail to your die cuts, to your stamping, to your pattern paper anything that's gonna kind of tie all the elements in together. So then I go ahead and grab some fresh bouquet paper that has this black and white floral so I can add even more of a little pop of black and white. I also throw a square doily into the mix. So I'm just building up those layers behind my photo, making sure that my photo is really gonna take center stage and stand out against this background. And that black border and that white like lacy edge of the doily kind of help in that respect to make sure everything stands out. So this was just kind of a random picture. So I don't really have a big story to tell. When I was doing her um, back to school pictures this year, uh, this is just one of the shots that we took. And it doesn't have like her school books in it. It doesn't have her computer since we're doing virtual learning. 
it's just this picture of her looking back over her shoulder and it's one of my favorite poses to do with her um so it's just kind of an everyday basic photo i am going to take a little bit of this kind of sheer ribbon that has a little bit of a glitter to it and i tie a knot around the bottom of my photo with it and i am so sorry guys you can totally hear my little guy like screaming crazy in the pool in the background and it's completely distracting me i'm so sorry um, I'm going to go ahead and add this word captured along the bottom of my photo and I fight a little bit with the letters getting them exactly where I want them. Um, but these are from Coco Vanilla Studio and I love them and I love the pop of black that it brings in but I definitely fight with keeping the letters where I want them to be and to make it look like natural. So I do go back after and mess around with that a little bit more. I do like the scripty nature of it so that it looks hand done, um, but I will go back after I'm done filming and kind of fix up that little end to make it look a little bit better. I do go ahead and add some of these little black hearts that also came with that same um, sheet of phrases. And then this is where I go back and add just a little bit more of that pen detailing around my die cuts this time. And then I'm gonna come in with a Nouveau glitter marker in silver and it doesn't show up well on screen, but I'm adding just a little bit of shimmer. So I'm putting that on some of my embellishment florals, as well as the florals that I have around the edge of my paper. So that when you kind of tilt the page or when you look at it, it has a little bit of a glittery, like shimmery look to it. It's not super like dramatic, but it adds just a little detail. And then I'm going to go ahead and scatter some penguin suit sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps as well as some black splatters to all of my clusters. And that is basically going to do it for this layout. So I really love the combination of this very floral pastel collection with the contrast of the black and white. Hopefully you like seeing what I did too and you will play along with wonky edges to your pattern paper for the challenge this month. Bye everybody!